In this guide I will go over how to import virtual machines that you have either exported from other hypervisors or downloaded off the internet. The first one I will be importing is from an OVA file which contains everything needed, including the VM configuration. The second one I will go over how to import just the virtual disk. All commands used can be found in the guide linked in the video description. To transfer the file over to Proxmox, open the terminal window and navigate to where your virtual machine is stored. This can be done by typing in cd followed by the directory. Here we will use scp to transfer the file over to Proxmox. Type scp followed by the name of the file you wish to transfer, then the username, IP address, and folder on the server where you wish to transfer the file. When the transfer has completed, you can connect to the server using SSH. Type in SSH, followed by the username and IP address of your server. Now, navigate to where you transferred the file to. In my case, this is cd slash tmp. Here you can export the files from the OVA archive using tar xvf, followed by the name of the OVA archive. To import the virtual machine, type in qm, import ovf, then an unused vmid, the name of the ovf file of the virtual machine you wish to import, and finally a hard drive in Proxmox. Pressing enter will start the transfer. The time this takes depends on your hardware and the size of the virtual machine. When done, you should be able to start using the virtual machine. The import process is slightly different if you only have the virtual hard drive. In the Proxmox UI, start by creating a virtual machine for the hard drive. You do not need any installation media or hard drive for this virtual machine. When that is done, head back to the terminal and type in qm import disk followed by the vmid you just created, the name of the virtual hard drive, storage on Proxmox, then dash f qcow2. When the transfer has completed, you will have to enable the disk in Proxmox. Click the virtual machine, then hardware, followed by unused disk. Press edit, then add. In the options menu, click boot order, then edit. Here you can uncheck IDE2 and net0. Then check SCSI0 and click OK. You can now start using the virtual machine. Hope this was of some use. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.